Central Europe has a long tradition of spa therapy, often prescribed by doctors and funded by health insurance. But the hot water bubbling under the mountains near Bad Gastein in Austria produces something unique. This train is on a strange journey deep into the heart of a mountain. Here, two kilometers inside the Alps, lies one of nature's secrets. This tunnel is producing interesting results, which scientists are struggling to explain. People with rheumatism, back pain, and breathing difficulties flock from all over Austria, Germany, Switzerland, and beyond to lie in the intense heat of these so-called healing galleries. It's so cold. It's nice and warm in here, about 38 degrees. The humidity is 70% and you sweat a lot. Since I go regularly to the sauna, it's no problem for me to be in here. This is known as speleotherapy, therapy in cave conditions, and they've been practicing it in this former gold mine for the last 50 years. Above ground in the cure house, they back up the cave experience with more conventional rehabilitation therapies. As medical director of the healing gallery, Dr. Falkenbach is convinced that speleotherapy is effective, particularly in alleviating the pain and stiffness of rheumatism. The patients' reports were always euphoric, but many doctors were predominantly skeptical. So Dr. Falkenbach helped with clinical trials to test the patient's claims. The most successful result has been with a severe form of inflammatory rheumatism, which, unusually, affects people as young as 20 or 30. It's known as ankylosing spondylitis, or morbus bacteria, and it's usually treated with drugs. Unfortunately, these medications have well-known side effects. So if patients can reduce their medication afterwards, that means the treatment has been very successful. <laughs> this is just what happened to Ingrid Geisbeck, one of the 3,000 ankylosing spondylitis sufferers who come to the cave every year. Despite trying every other therapy, she had extreme pain and stiffness when she first came to Bad Gastein six years ago. In the time I'm here at Bad Gastein, I take no medication, and for about six months after I've done the treatment in the caves, I need less medication or none at all. Friedbert Velker also has ankylosing spondylitis, which gives him severe back pain. He had tried every available treatment, but found it was the caves that helped. At first it was something you'd never experienced. That suddenly one is free of pain. My body could move around quite differently. It used to be like this. Now I feel fine again. Patients usually make ten one-hour trips in a three-week stay. Hello, Morgan. Apart from the intense heat and humidity, the gallery has an important and controversial extra. The caves are full of a natural gas called radon, which Dr. Falkenbach says is good for the patients. Radon is taken as a noble gas in through the skin and into the lungs and spreads through the bloodstream into the whole body. The trouble is that radon has been known to cause cancer, though Dr. Falkenbach believes that the levels in the gallery are safe. Just as with the anti-inflammatory drugs, this treatment carries a potential risk. Patients have to balance the pain of rheumatism against the possible risk of cancer. I have, of course, read reports about the effects of radon and had to think about whether to go in, given the risk. I think the effect is so good that one can take that risk. Radon levels are measured daily to ensure that staff don't overdose. How the radon actually works is still speculative, as Dr. Falkenbach admits. 
Einzelfakten gefunden, zum Beispiel eine... There are several facts which have been established. For example, that there is an activation of the body's own hormones, an improvement in the cell's own repair system, and a release of endorphins and encephalins which work on the pain. But we are still a long way from having a definite thread to say exactly how the positive clinical result happens. There is independent research which shows that patients with ankylosing spondylitis who have radon cave therapy at Bad Gastein, along with conventional rehabilitation therapies, have longer lasting relief of their pain and stiffness than patients who don't. And the patients keep coming. So that you can all enjoy your hour in the gallery, I have to ask you not to speak so that you and the other patients can relax. Josef Schlichtinger is here for the first time, suffering from stiffness and pain from rheumatism. It's a great relief, and the most positive thing is that you become more loosened up. I was a bit skeptical at first, but I'm pleasantly surprised. The caves remain a mystery. Further research into lower back pain and breathing problems may reveal what it is that makes these hot, humid galleries have this strange effect.